Hi everybody, I'm Coco. Thanks for watching my Let's Play video. If you like what you see, please remember to subscribe so you can know when more videos are posted. You can also follow me on Twitter or on Twitch to, to see the gameplay live. Links to these and my Discord are in the description below. Thank you and see you next time. Hi, happy Sunday. I'm a little stuffy, so if I sound weird, that's why. But I got my tea, I've got my water. We're ready to do some more Soma. So when we last left off, we were to the area where we could find our, our high pressure suit. And we're gonna put, get that ready and get that on. And we'll figure out how to get our mind into that body, I guess, or something. Simon has entered Omnicron. Before you can ride the climber into the abyss, he needs a power suit, so he'll survive the pressure. Well, good. I recapped it correctly. All right. So let's see, when we ended, Catherine had told us we need to find a suit. So let us find a suit. What are you waiting for? Find a power suit and let's get on with this. Okay. But I want it to, I want to look at things. Oh, look, it's the original team. Power suit proper usage. I'm sure that will come in handy later. Well, I guess I'll go for letter D here. Simon, look for a suit in the lockers. Isn't that what I'm doing? Hey, look, it's a suit. Ew. Oh. Nice. Oh. I found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby. See if you can boot it up. Ew. All kinds of ew. Uh, high pressure power soup guaranteed to withstand temperatures spanning from 50 Celsius to negative 75 Celsius while keeping a steady 40 C def default on the inside. The suit will automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain the normal 1 ATM up to a depth of 5,000 meters. The onboard controller monitors the wearer. The onboard controller monitors the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize risk of shock, hyperventilation, and even dehydration. The suit is easily assembled through ro rotating neck and wrist rings that lock the gloves and the helmet into place. Note that the joints won't seal unless the controller is able to identify a wearer through a set of sensory systems. Suits may be locked to specific personnel, but as a default, the suit will accept anyone. The controller is the onboard computer monitoring pulse, brain activity, body temperature, and stress through skin con conductance. It uses this information to provide the wearer with the safest experience. Well, that's nice. Oh. Okay. Not exactly great A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few kinds of structure gel powered by the on-suit battery pack. 
and a dead colleague, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. I guess you're right. What about the wow? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The wow won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. Well, I guess we gotta go find some stuff. I need my tool to get through there. So I'm guessing we're not going that way. Don't forget, we need a cortex chip, structure gel, and a power pack to get the suit ready. Okay. We're gonna find all the things. doorway there. I'm guessing I can't do anything with that yet. Alright, that's back out there. There was one more door over here. Which I think is the same hallway. Just another doorway, yes, okay. Those doors are locked. We got a computer. Ruffy, Jacob Halpern. An unusually stated orange Ruffy found hovering outside Omicron substation. It had a remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. Brought it inside to study it, but it stiffened and died in the process. During post-mortem study, the thing kicked back to life without be while being out of water. Kept swinging for a few minutes, so I returned it to an aquarium. It instantly started banging into the glass and bludgeoned itself to death before I could relocate it. Shelley, dead on arrival. Darby and Waldeck identified it as what was, what was sabotaging the Lumar probe at about 900 meters depth. It's 150 centimeter long rudder fish that looks like it has merged with some other kind of fish or shark. It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. It's clear that it's getting worse. Something is causing this and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that or or, or Vari can't shut up about. Johan Ross, dead on arrival. The dead man found on the climber this morning is identified as Johan Ross, the AI psychologist working at Tau. I can't even begin to imagine what has happened down in the abyss, and frankly, I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If the ARC team is alive, which I highly doubt, they will have to find a way to give us a sign. We're not going down there again without good reason. Hmm. Killer fish. That sounds promising.
I did a thing. Oh, crud. Okay. Oh, it's a literal lab rat. Okay. The connectivity. The structural gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. If applied to circuits, it seems to help out with connectivity. It seems like it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Hi, Mal. You are a good sharer with your cold. Don't I sound wonderful? Applied gel to a dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive, but it was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel hardened within it. Enjoy nine days. Oh, is that how long it took? Lovely. I'm so looking forward to that. Reanimated another mouse with structure gel. This time it was done with, with uncalibrated gel as produced by Ames. The result were impressive. The thing appeared catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening, as before, electromagnets are used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. This has also provided us with the ability to somewhat control it. it might be healthier than me, so only eight days. Oh, here's hoping. Let's see, I started with this on Friday, so we're on day three. Yay. The structure gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's still the same... Cross-link gel with aligned gra graphene in a polysaturated matrix that was installed throughout Pathos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gel, but its controller, the WoW. The gel has not taken on any new properties. The WoW simply uses it in a way that we would never have dreamed of. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers, were manipulated by the WoW via structured gel. They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and in turn sickened by a cancerous growth that affects their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI, 
but it all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I can't for sure say it's bad code or carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. Well, that's happy. You're assuming st the st statistic and vi visual glitches are part of the game? Yes. Yes, they are. I'm also not sure why the uh, computer keeps asking me to listen to it. But I guess we'll find out. Right now we're on a mission to find structure gel, uh, p uh, battery, and something else. Hello, dead body in shower. How are you? Here's a simple objective. Watch as ridiculous complications occur. Yes, exactly. Alright. Weird as it gets. Yes, Mel. This game is bonkers. You love how this game looks. Too much of a wuss for scary games, but I like to watch. <laughs> um, this one's not that scary. Like, several people have said it's scary, and it does have the horror tag to it, but I don't think it's all that scary. Alright, where am I putting the gel? Arkham Knight is a lot of fun. That's fun. Oh. Oh, we did a thing. Can I pick it up? I'd like to pick it up, please. Or do I have to lay the other one down? Hmm. Going to lurk, most of you guys do stuff around the house. We'll be here. I appreciate the lurk. Thank you. How do I switch to... <laughs> hmm. Buttons? I'm going to push that back in. Doesn't give me the option of the second one. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. We did a thing.
Oh, you have the arrow button switched. <laughs> I mean, maybe. We can pick that back up, and now it'll work. I have gel. Okay. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> now I'm just missing peanut butter and bread, yes. This whole place is weird. And the music is super creepy. Catherine, I got gel. Oh, you don't care. Okay. Catherine's just chilling in the computer while we run around like a crazy person. That's ominous. Our first time looking at ourselves. That was weird. Why? Why do I always play games with rats? That's a healing thing, but I don't need to heal right now. Very good to know that it's there. Alright, I guess I'm going into this weird room with dead fish.
Alright. What was the point in letting me in here? Okay, that's the same thing from before. <sighs> Alright. I don't see anything to do in this room. I guess we need to find another place to go. Oh, here we go. Um, this place looks gross. Jimmy. Tell me about it. Feels like my head's about to explode. Hypothetically speaking, could we stop the wow from mutating? <sighs> it doesn't work like that. Even if there was a site alpha? Hypothetically speaking, I guess we could try it. Rally, are you recording this? Sorry. Uh, I just... So... Uh-huh. Hey Jamie, how's your move going? How is the new house? <sighs> Is 
It's going. You have to go back to the old place again in the morning. Ah. Do you remember to pick up your bed things? And again, the next day for the final checkout. <laughs> but then you'll be done and you won't have to do it anymore. Got the cats, though. The cats are the important part. How are they adjusting to the new place? You're just waiting for Gandalf to poop somewhere behind- stupid behind a box. Yes. No, you never had a garden. That's fair. Oh. Well, that guy looks happy. Did you like your comment on picture of Pucket 99? Yes, yes. 99 looks like he needs glasses. Oh yes, the, the combined um, cat emote because we have the the uh, new new hiding emote. Yes, because I couldn't choose between which cat to keep, so you got both of them. Yeah, love it. Yes, I'm so excited by that one. My 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 hiding monkey. I want to read your computer, dude. No, you're not going to let me read your computer? That's fine. Looks like they love each other. Uh-huh. Oh, 99 totally bullies Max. Max would like to be a, a cranky old man and you say, get off my lawn to everybody. Yeah, that's a healing thing I don't need right now. Yeah, exactly. Yes, Jamie has Gandalf and Layla. And Layla is in a bowl because that is how she she lays in a bowl. Auto saved. Hi, Max Power. How are you? Welcome in. Okay. 
so I need to find batteries. Okay. Oh, goody. I got distracted by all kinds of cat emotes. <laughs> uh. How is everybody this evening? Am I? That is a lot of cats, Jamie. I love it. Okay, I think I got away from it. And I can heal. Uh. You're, you're gonna lurk around and unpack. <laughs> Holler when you need, you're when I'm too scared. <laughs> or when Unleashed does something mischievous. I love it. <laughs> we just know Unleashed, we just know. But I'm glad you're doing well. I have a little bit of a cold, but nothing we can't handle. Doing so good, finishing up some homework for tomorrow. Nice.
Now I'm in trouble. Yeah, I know. We need to get you a new Cortex chip, just like the ones you find inside robots, so we can store your brain. Alright, I need a Cortex chip. Oh. Why, thing? Why? Yeah, I have to store my brain. Mm -hmm. This game is weird. <laughs> Let's go downstairs. Mainly because we know Scary Dude is upstairs. That's how we came in here. Okay. Robot repair bay. What could go wrong? Oh, we got some math. Some blueprints. And a computer. Oh, do I have to connect these somehow? puzzles. This seems like a bad idea. Oh yeah, I, yeah, and I see that now. I, just, I I got that to work. So now I need to Aha. Thank you for that. It nailed it. I can go back up.
And we auto save, so that's a good thing, right? Footstep. Shut the door, Cap. Lock it up. What's happening? Lock the door. It's locked. What's going on? I managed to piss off another one of Wild's monsters. Uh. We have everything we need, right? Uh. Yeah. Let's get to work. We need to assemble your new body with the things you collected. Just stuff all of it into the suit with the dead body. Oh yeah, just stuff it in with the dead body. Sure. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Just make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. Alright, try activating the suit from the terminal again. I'm sure this is all normal. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. <laughs> That's how science works. This is yeah. important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it? Change body? Yes. If you want to stay here, I'm not gonna stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right, let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. Oh, sure. I need to swipe my tool. Oh, in this room. Oh, sure. You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. Frequency is the length, yeah. I think. That one's pretty darn close. I'm off a little bit. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's there we go. Everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control, so please. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. 
Oh boy. Like having a picture taken. But with the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> Hey, we're in a new body. There must be something wrong. Can't you run a diagnosis or something? Uh oh. What was that? No, I it just Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn it. Kath, two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's going to happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? That's so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do <coughs> that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. So should we drain his battery? Let's do it. We're gonna kill our other self. Yeah. Alright. Goodbye, other Simon. It was nice knowing you. Simon. Bye, old Simon. Hello, new Simon. He didn't say Simon says. No, no, he did not. How we do that? Oh, descend. go now what I 
feel like I'm missing something. Go into that one. Alright. There's only one way to go. Yay, it worked! I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Didn't work not well enough to make me jump. That's true. Ascend, stop. May ascend? No. Pretty sure I want to descend. something <laughs> Catherine what am I missing Wait to play Phasma with a bunch of coconuts at Ari soon with a new update. Was there another new update? Or is it the, still the same update? Uh, uh Jammy. But yes. Ari is supposed to be playing Phasma with me and Orange and Toddy um, in the next couple weeks once the hubby comes back into town. So that's exciting. Missing something. Pilot Shoe, welcome in. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. No, same update, but still new. Yeah, same here. Yeah, I apologize, I didn't see you there. I got a little focused. <laughs> welcome in. Soma is interesting. It's weird. But I like it. I'm still not sure, entirely sure I understand what's going on, but that's okay. What did I do with Simon 2? Oh, I killed him. We 
we killed old Simon. Alright, I can't go back in because Catherine's in the thing. Yep, didn't even blink. Well, on the off chance he can come after me later. I don't I didn't wanna take any chances. Alright, there's literally nothing to do here. What am I missing? Or do I have to get off here? <laughs> it's true, I can't blink. I'm a robot. Oh, there's a lever. Silly lever. Take a seat and we'll be off. Oh, there we go. All right. We have entered the twilight really zone. Do, like do, 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 do. Is there still room for me? And what about the Simon I killed at Omicron? What do you think, Catherine? Is there a heaven full of redundant copies of the same people? Is there someone up there who called me an imposter? It's dumb luck, right? That I woke up in the right body. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind. Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Please say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I can still feel how I did it, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watch the small rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the Ark, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends? I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. 
If not, you still have. Uh oh. <laughs> what happened? Hello, Catherine. What happened? I can't pick up my tool. Oh, look at those fit those jellyfish. Those are cool. That's just the lid. Yeah, this is super pretty. out for a moment. Think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry. It should hold. Comforting. It will hold. Does... Does time freeze when you're not powered? Time feels omitted. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes. But generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. It's rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. That'd be the worst. That's you, Simon. Did we make it to the abyss? Um You did it. You did it. I will make preparations. What? What happened? I didn't do anything. I apparently I did. I don't know what I did, but I did something. You're back. What happened? Something dropped onto the cage. Knocks you right out. It spoke to me. Looks like a man. One of WoW's creatures. No, it said his it name was Ross at least. For a moment, then threw itself down the abyss. It said it would make preparations. I don't like the sound of that. It was very strange. I thought it was going to kill you. <laughs> I'm glad it didn't. Yeah, me too. Candles, rose petals, hot bath, all the works, yes. Looks like we're closing in on the ocean floor. Good, not sure the climber can take it much longer. Okay, so this is the Omega Sector. It's about an acre of the abyssal plan used by Pathos 2. I expect we'll have to do some walking before we reach town. You haven't been here before? Not in a way that'll help us. I the other you has been here. We're following your old footsteps, Kat. When I had footsteps, could still be down here somewhere, technically. Don't remind me, freaks me out. All right, let's head for Tao and find that arc. Yeah, I only knew his name was Ross because that's what the caption said, Unleashed, so you didn't miss a whole lot. Same guy's been peering in the middle of the room in Omicron every so often. Oh, is that is that 
the dude we ran from? Okay. I, I didn't uh, stick around him too long to talk to him. Loomer, Link needed to call Climber. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Area unsafe. Stay close to the lights. Okay. locked. of floating things. Okay. It's the closest thing we get to a map in this game. So we'll go near them. I can't fail, Glasser. It's important I reach Omicron. Our future depends on it. Calm down. Let's just follow the path. If I die, I need you to tell Julia Dahl that the WoW is out of control. She needs to get to Sarang. He'll know what to do. Ross, you can tell him yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? Almost there, we just... <laughs> to tell red leads to the climber. Okay. <laughs> hey CT, how are you? Alright, follow the blue lights. Got it. 
I'm okay. I've got a little bit of a cold, but nothing I can't handle. I've done nothing but sleep all day, so we're doing okay. I don't know the puck is here tonight. <laughs> he's in the house. I just don't know that he's here. Oh, hi, what are you? Oh, coincidence, you also slept most of the day. There you are. Hi, Puck. Random questions. How is my relationship with spiders? Uh oh. Are there spiders? <laughs> um, I don't like spiders IRL or in video games. I, I do much better with, with like, the zombies and those sort of things than I do with actual like real life things. Underwater, how could there be spiders? Oh, I bet they're like robot spiders or something. Uh huh. Oh, your birthday was yesterday, CT. Happy birthday. That's exciting. You're just literally rambling your weird thoughts. Okay. I have a feeling Jammy's in the procrastinating uh, part of her unpacking. Is this where I wanted to go? Blue leads to Tau. Are there more blue lights? I feel like those are blue lights. Also, it sounds like there's a thunderstorm in the bottom of the ocean. Uh-oh, I lost my blue light. Ah! Attacked by fish.
I'm gonna die. I can't see a daggone thing. Get lost fish, don't get lost me. Yeah. I'm gonna get lost. Pretty sure I'm already lost. And I already used my healy thing. Well, good news, I made it back here. Bad news, I don't know where the heck I'm going. Why, fishies? Why? So I don't think I quite made it all the way to Tau. I'm pretty sure I have to go this way. And I'm supposed to follow the blue lights. Blue leads to Tau, yes. Mancho Coco went to Tau, riding on a robot. Da 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 Thanks, Unleashed. <sighs> Alright, we got here again.
right? It's supposed to follow the blue lights. There's more of those damn fish. Go away. Rude. lights this way. I'm going towards the blue lights. Fishy friends are back. <clears throat> just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Did we make it? We auto saved, so we did something right. Yay, we made it. Ooh, and I can heal. Thank God. <laughs> Seeing your walking power suit at the bottom of the ocean, you're using fast. Yes, yes, I am. Oh, was that the one from the other night unleashed? Perfect. Or did he just do it again and I didn't notice? <laughs> oh, you all should really check out that clip. Um, what the puck, for those of you who don't know, what the puck is my husband and he kind of scared me the other night. It was, it was, it was the best. You hate that I heal by sticking my, my hand in a weird butthole. <laughs> Only you would see as a butthole, but I like it. I appreciate it. Thanks, CT. All right, let's keep going. Now, can you hear this? Anyone there? This is Tau. Who is this? This is Ian Peterson of Theta calling. <laughs> I got a team with me, and we're about half a kilometer from Tau. What? How? How did you came in the climber? Listen. We're having a really hard time with this sector. Heavy turbulence is making it difficult to move forward, and the wildlife you've got is absolutely rabid. The storm comes and goes. Instruments show the weather is relatively fair right now. You should move out as soon as possible. Stick to the lights. The critters should leave you alone. All right, you heard the man. We're moving out, people. Tao, keep the doors unlocked. We're coming in. Oh, boy. Yeah, no wine tonight, Unleashed. Such a ton of people play this that everyone calls it a butthole. That's hilarious. Can you hear this? Oh, I did again. Anyone there? This is Tao. Who is this? <laughs> this is Ian Peterson of Theta calling. I got a team with me, and we're about half a kilometer from Tao. What? How? How did you came in the climber? Listen, we're having a really hard time with this sector. Heavy turbulence is making it difficult to move forward, and the wildlife you've got is absolutely rabid. The storm comes and goes. Instruments show the weather is relatively fair right now. You should move out as soon as possible. Stick to the lights. The critters should leave you alone. 
All right, you heard the man. We're moving out, people. Tao, keep the doors unlocked. We're coming in. Okay, now that we've heard the same thing twice, let's go. Wow, auto mod's on it today. First you touch the thing, you figure that, yeah. Yeah, 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 very much. She thought it was a sign that Jamie was missing butt spot too much. I mean, that too. Oh. Uh... Yeah, I figured since I wasn't feeling well unleashed that I should probably forego the wine tonight and do have tea. Um, it's funny though you say that because I really only drink wine when I'm streaming. You are pushing the limits of auto mod tonight. On, you're on a roll. It's all right. No, I mean it's just sinuses. I'll be fine. Alright, we came in here, we flipped a switch, now what? Do I have to go back out there with the stupid things? We're on some small level alert since there was someone just positive for you know what at your workplace a couple weeks ago. Yeah, but we should be fine. I think we're fine. Beacon offline, beacon offline. Ooh, do I follow that? I need to follow you. Yeah, yarn was only a sore throat, yeah. And you on the other hand just came home from a three thousand people event. That's a lot of people. Double back or negative test, yeah. Um, dude, ain't my light. Personally, we just went to a music festival, and this weekend she's going to state fair. So, yeah. And wanna open air London? Okay. <coughs> oh. Oh, I see what you mean by spiders now. Thanks. Those spiders are fine. They're not bothering me yet. Mm. A 10 hour rave. Nice. Oh, hi, you're a fish. I walked right into it because it had a light. Yeah, I followed the blue light all right.
And now I went into the... Yeah. Okay, there we go. Is that still a fish? Or is that actually a light? That's actually a light. Got your face all glittered up. Nice. Puck is saying something about music festivals, which I will read when I'm done following the blue lights. We auto saved. We did something right. Alright. Music festivals seem way too long and immersive for me. You need music festival ticket where I kind of just stare at stage for 20 minutes, far away from anyone else, and then you're done. Cries during the closing said it was so good. We're not, not long ago had board masters event here and reports of 4,700 cases may be linked. Wow. Yeah, Puck would be crying tears of boredom. Uh, Lashu was crying happy tears. Let me in. Dive room, but there's a healy thing. I want a healy thing. circulating at Omicron. Oh, God. Listen, son. We're on an important mission, and we need your help to operate the Omega space gun. When it's done, we can all head back up the plateau. But now we need to get moving. Of course. Head on through to the habitat. <laughs> we shut off the front section to preserve power. 
Alright, see you soon. An AOL internet CD. That takes me back. Mobile towers can't handle it. And for six or seven days there's a little no internet. Oh no. Okay, I don't know what this is telling me, but okay. Yeah, one day. Alright. We got a suit on the loose. Potatoes, small 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 potatoes, on the moon. Oh, Jamie, did you see the picture of small potatoes I put in my Discord? I, I had to uh, cut up some small potatoes for, for my dinner, and I sang the song. Ah, oh, baby shark, I've missed you. <laughs> yeah, I've heard Bunbury is really good. The broken Omni tool. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe not. Yes, Puck, but opening day is more about the festival aspect of it than it is about the actual game anyway. And they always lose, so, you know. Oh, hi! Okay, so hiding was a bad idea. Thank you. 
<laughs> that is really cool. I'm very confused. Unleashed was the was the creepy voices part of my my death thing there. I I'm not I'm not sure. <laughs> Yes, Puck would probably not be cool at a, at a festival. Your couple goals to find a partner who's going to go with you <laughs> to a rave when you're 50. Hey, that, that's a good goal. Yeah, that that was amazing timing, Unleashed. I, good job. Good job. <laughs> Your couple's goals to find them and play video games with me when we 40 plus. Oh, wait. Hey, I'm not 40 plus yet. I have a couple more months. by day, raised by night. Yeah, there you go. The door wins the, the award for most suspenseful door ever. Yeah, it does. Well, not everyone can be social pockets. Okay. Did it run past me? I didn't see.
Excuse me, mister. I can move now. I know, it does. I think it's in that hallway. Anyone there? Not in the mood to talk to robots. No offense. Okay, now it sounds like it's in the vents. This is alien isolation all over again. done that before I healed that would have been helpful thank you back in here again. <laughs> Good job. I think we I think we scared uh, CT.
gotta race in here. Keep running away. <laughs> oh, you're good. Don't see me. Go on. again. I'm all kinds of turned around. to get back there. We found a new area. Okay. <laughs> Slam hard in his face. I tried that the other night, remember? It opened the door. Oh, but we auto save, so we're doing something right. All right, we can heal in the butthole.
January 1st, minor, January 12th, minor structural damage, radio knocked out. January 17th, communication recovered. Omicron is the, and the rest of Pathos 2 are all right. April 3rd, cross site radio failing. Lumar probes keep losing the link. Urgent fix needed. Tau can't retrieve the climber until the link is working. April 11th, visited SSC, Wolchek, Dahl, and Holland. System of biweekly visits established until communications back at 100%. September 13th, evacuation of Tau ordered. We are all leaving for Omicron. September 15th, swarmed by monsters and no radio. We're fucked. Well, it's always good when an official record ends in, well, we're fucked. Access tunnels are unstable. Site fully operational. Omega space gun. Infirmary is... Oh, I unlocked it. Oh, I need a code for that one. Why is creepy dude talking to me? I don't like it. Potatoes, small 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 potatoes, on the moon. Thanks for the potatoes. You, you're different. Oh, hi. Nice suit. Used to have one just like it. What are you doing? What are you looking for? Go ahead. Make yourself at home. Don't mind me. Oh, that's creepy. Can I help you with anything? Emergency food. A thorough look at what the what common chemicals and compounds found at Pathos 2 keep you alive in emergency situations. Nutrition through the veins. A manual on how to keep unconscious or comatose colleagues fed through intravenous drip. Post-construction -construction alterations. Methods on how to make room for additional payload after the casing has been constructed and left delta. Okay. Are you human? Sarah Lindwall. Payload technician at your service. Can you imagine me, Sarah? No, Very thank you. Sight. Am I right? I say so. You're the first normal living human I've seen. There's not many left down here. Most of them are up on the plateau. You mean at Omicron? Yeah. There's no one alive at Omicron. You've been there? I've been all over. The power plant at Upsilon. The ruins of Lambda. The abandoned Delta, Theta. You've been to Theta? There's not a lot left of Pathos too. Hi, Princess. Have fun with the underwater dread. The only living person you've met. <coughs> you mean I'm the last living human on the planet? I'm sorry. Who are you again? Simon Jarrett. Stationed out? Nowhere. I, I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. Long story. Then what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to find the Ark. Why would you? How do you know about that? I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. Damn right it is. Now what do you want with it? Take it to the gun at Phi. Launch it into space. That was the plan, all right. I've been guarding it ever since we brought it back to Tau. This... I couldn't bring myself to let go. Tell you the truth. I don't have 
the strength to argue. And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. Go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Can I get you anything? Do anything for you? You could kill me. Good one. I'm glad you came by. Good to get this over with. I still can't believe I'm the last one. It's crazy. If I knew you'd come, I would have cleaned this place up a little bit. <laughs> oh, she's about to be dead, because I've killed everybody else. Please. Would you stay with me, please? It won't be long now. Just please, just stay. What a crazy thing this was. Life. At least I won't have to turn 30. Hooray! <laughs> I wish I could have died at home with my friends. You ever been to Greenland? It's very beautiful. Well, at least when you get out of the city. Nanok is busy, and yes, there's like 12 million people trying to get around, but it's a great place. Or rather, it was a great place before the comet ended it all. Mm -hmm. You know what? I prefer it this way. I liked Pathos. Liked my colleagues. Ian, Nick, Jasper, even Kat. People thought she was weird because she was quiet, but she was cool. Simon, you still there? I'm here, Sarah. Don't let him die, okay? Send them out there. To the stars. Okay, she dead. The black box is inactive. Probably found a way to switch it off. I know, I'm a murderer. I'm a horrible, horrible human. No way I can climb a ladder while carrying the ark like this. Well, where do we put the ark? Oh, there we go. The pain of humanity. You kind of killed the last human on Earth. I know. I know. I'm a horrible, horrible human. Alright. Ah, uh, I don't think I kept Amy alive. Or did I? Did I have an option to keep Amy alive? I honestly don't remember. Because Amy was the, the girl in the car crash, right? I don't think we ever resolved that. What did we do? Hey, 
Try not to think about it. My whole life, I've been a good man. We messed up, Sarah. Oh, there, there. oh, then yes, I, 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 I did I kill her. Watched. Taking the chance. There's time. If Ashkin says we could try again, when things calm down. You gotta do it, you know. You got to. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I definitely killed her. Can't we do anything for him? No. We're out of sedatives. If we had a gun, this would be the time to pull it out. <sighs> Did not expect it to end like this. Should have jumped the climber back to Omicron. Without the Ark? Forget about the Ark. No, you don't get to say that. It's the only thing left of value. You know that. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you... you won't leave it behind. Nothing uh, major, Jamie. We just killed the last then living what? human on Earth. Well, better keep it safe until then. <laughs> don't want the wow to take it, swallow it whole. <sighs> I'm sorry, Catherine. It's okay, Ian. Just let it out. Let it all out. So we have the Ark. We killed the last living human on Earth. You know. Normal things. What is that? Ross's room. Can't climb and carry the ark. Can't climb and carry the ark. I gotta take it down in the thing. All right. Can I take it all the way down? There's voice files in Ross's room. Okay. I was hoping to see Omicron today. The evacuation order by the people at Theta was a gift, an excuse to leave Alpha and abandon the WoW. As the storm cleared, we were swarmed by monsters that the WoW had facilitated. We were ambushed and forced back towards Tau. Glasser, Kovsky, Co Coatsy, and I survived. All Claire is in the infirmary, but doesn't look good. Coatsy made a run for it to check, ob to check observation for anything resembling food. 
Going outside is beyond dangerous. It's like the gu going to buy cigarettes in a hurricane. She came back and she has some crumbs with her. We all knew it was empty. I think she just wanted a chance to die without carrying the responsibility of taking it herself. Evo from the plateau showed up. It was a group of engineers from Theta telling us that they wanted to use the Omega space gun to launch something called the Ark. It's an artificial world that carries brain scans made from people working at Pathos 2. The idea is silly but endearing. We all agreed to do a scan so we could take part of the, in this afterlife. Some of the engineers returned from, from Phi. Apparently they postponed the Ark launch. They were all in very foul mood and difficult to get straight any straight answers from. Except for one very important thing. They all wish to remain at Tau to figure this ARC business out, but they have scheduled for the climber to pick them up tomorrow. Someone would need to catch that climber to alert Omnicrom to what is happen happening. Luckily, Glaster and I were able to take on this mission. I will finally get to warn Dahl and Sarang about the critical situation site at Alpha. You mean you'd do it? You'd, you'd kill her? The pattern has stopped evolving. The WoW has managed to find balance. I convinced SSE Volchek to turn off all external control systems, making the WoW our de facto caretaker. So far, it's exceeding expectations. Since the comet crashed a few days ago, January 12th, the WoW has dropped to a low energy state. It hasn't abandoned its duties. It's keeping climate and life support going but it's been simplifying the pattern, redefining its protocol. The WoW has started to grow physically. It's not just the core chamber. All around Pathos II, structure gel is bursting through the pipes and bleeding through walls. I don't know what WoW could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intentional. The heart of WoW has claimed such a large part of the core chamber that there can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. The WoW is reaching out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control, it's trying to help save its creators from all this, just like the protocol demands. But really, what is good enough? Where is the line drawn for what is human and what is not? Would walking corpses do? Would a group of machines thinking they're human be acceptable? We can't trust a machine to know, to understand what it means to be. We have to terminate the WoW project. It can be done. I just need to get some help from Omicron. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you for pointing those out. Alright, I'm going to go down to the dive room without that and hope I can call it when I'm down there. Got me a, 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 an arc. Let's go. Uh oh. I wonder if Dead Space was a, an influence on this game. I don't know. Alright. Now what? Oh, 
swipe. to equalize pressure. Oh goody. Well, I suppose we just wait. Eek, yeah. This game is so different from Dead Space, you don't think there was an influence. That's fair. I have no firmer reference for that one. When I first started this game, I had just recently finished playing Alien Isolation, so a lot of it reminded me of that. Did something. Oh, it's good or bad, but it did something. Yeah, Jamie leaves all the scary games for me. That's fine. I don't mind. better to do than follow the arc. Maybe. How do I get over there? get through there. Your internet or cell service is wonky so you keep losing your sec. Maybe it's good for me to avoid scares. <laughs> Maybe. Muscles. The warden? You mean WoW? 
Well, down here, he has many names. Warden, the Alpha. Like in Sight Alpha? I thought that was made up. Made up. <laughs> then someone should really fire Johan Ross. Tell him there's no reason to walk these tunnels anymore. Hmm, this section is gonna collapse. No. You should try spending some time in the abyss, sweetheart. You know when shit's for real. Catherine, move up. Come with me. Oh, okay. Hey, wait for me! Careful with the Ark. Take it easy, it's not going to... going to collapse. And he died. Seriously though, how do I get past this? This is nasty. Well, this is just a tunnel collapse. <laughs> yeah, that's just making me hear that again. How do I get... That's him again talking. I don't do that. Yeah, this is just a tunnel collapse. I mean, there's a dead body under it, but. How do I get over this? All right, Ross. Wow. Six months. Wow. Yes. Thanks for the resub. I appreciate it. All right. Does anybody have any ideas how to get past this thing? Because I'm lost. Parkour. Yeah. I mean, that was kind of my thought. Trying to jump up on it, but it won't let me. There's a tunnel here or farther back? My mind went to tunnel, but... <laughs> so 
lit up if I turn around. Like this? That's a tunnel? Can I get in that? Oh. Huh. Thank you. A tunnel and a tunnel. Wait, Alpha? What the heck? This is super creepy. That was unleashed. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I was very concerned for a second there. <laughs> yeah, that definitely helped with the creepy feels, that's for sure. Just tell me what you want. and inside of me can kill the wild all together? You are the snake, son. Now strike at the heart. Okay. Why do we all of a sudden trust this guy? What the hell is that? Heart. It controls all the structure gel on the pathos tool. What do you need to do? Ha <laughs> ha! 
Okay, this one really does look like a butthole. <laughs> oh, you hate it forever. Me too, Jammy. Me too. Oh. One butthole to room them all. I swear I allowed a butthole before. Destroy the only one who's immune to the new pattern. Don't worry, we'll make it quick. There we go. What the heck is going on? the ocean. Excuse me, sir. I'm stuck. Or is this where I came from? I think that's where I came from. Right. 
we can do it. We can do it. Hey, God. Almost to the door, we can do it. Uh, hit the button. And let me in. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Ah. I am not a fan of that fish. I am curious, how much of the game do I have left? I feel like I'm close to the end. The Ark made it here in one piece. This might be a good stopping point for me tonight. Because I'm out of tea again, and I've been doing this for like three hours. So, I think um, we'll stop here. Any idea what I'm going to play after this game? Well, this is the 68th game I've played on stream. So, my thinking was for game number 69, I have a game on my wish list that, that would be appropriate for the 69th game, uh, and that is uh, Lust from Beyond. So I might do that before I go to Resident Evil 4 and try that again. Yeah, so. Yes, yeah, see, see, I thought it was appropriate, or inappropriate as the uh, case may be. I, I, it's a sequel to a game I call, I played already called Lust for Darkness, which is a very, um, odd, odd game. Definitely for mature audiences only. <laughs> um, but I enjoyed it, so I'm looking forward to the sequel, so we'll see how that is. Um, and I think I'm just gonna call it here for tonight, guys. So I will see you, um, I will be on Puck's YouTube channel tomorrow afternoon. Uh, we are going to be co-oping um, House of Da Vinci 2. It's a puzzle game. Uh, we'll probably start around 2 p.m. Eastern on his YouTube channel. Uh, and then I will be back for more of this on Thursday. So have a good night, guys.